Good morning everyone. It's Poppy Union here, aka Zach. Alright, good morning everyone. It's day five out in Maldives trip. Um, sorry if you can't hear me right now because it's pretty early in the morning so everyone's awake walking around making loud noises. Um, but today is going to be a different day because we've got all that stuff packed inside. We've got our dive gear packed downstairs because we are heading over to Marlow's, I believe. Um, which, and we'll be staying there for one night. And I believe it's going to be a better dive or a good dive uh, than last time. If you haven't seen the last video, check it out. You see some mantas, which is awesome because that was my first time seeing it. Um, I hope you guys get to experience that and feel the uh, excitement I felt because that was sick. But um, yeah, we'll head over to Marlos. I don't know if I'll film it all over there or film going there just because I've got to carry everything. I've got to carry the dive bag and my bag as well. But I'll see what happens. You'll see the video, you'll see what's coming up, you'll see Milo, you'll probably see the ferry ride. I'll catch you over there. We'll see you. Go check it out. It's the poop deck. We've just made it to my Fushi, come off the boat. But we just, where are we going? Where are we heading? I don't know. Follow this guy. Right. We're following this guy, which has all of our stuff. This is our mode of transportation. Um, yeah. So, are we doing a dive today? No. Not tomorrow. Dive tomorrow. Um, yeah. Enjoy the sights. Alright, so quickly we're about to go for a snorkel. I'm not taking this camera because I don't want it to get ruined. So I'm just going to take the GoPro and yeah, you see all that. So we'll see you later. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's about that time of the video where we, where I deliver the facts. You guys watch our dive or snorkel that we've just been on and you experience and learn about something new, something that you may not have known about the ocean. So why don't we jump right in? So, first of all, we've got the anemone fish. There are two types of anemone fish that you are about to see in the video, and they are your Blackfoot anemone, number one, and your Clark's anemone, um, anemone fish. Blackfoot anemone fish, Clark's anemone fish. Um, now, a lot of the anemone fish are actually specialized damsel fish, which live within a lot of the um, sea anemone because it's a symbiotic relationship, which means that they both benefit. So what actually happens is that the sea anemone provides for the um, anemone fish in terms of protection and the anemone fish provide in food and waste which then gets taken up by the sea anemone. Now the sea anemone has obviously specialized uh, stinging cells on the tips of its tentacles which acts as you know a form of defense for the anemone fish. So any fish that gets near it gets stung. How don't these anemone fish get stung you may be wondering. That's because they have specialized mucus over 
the fish itself which allows them to survive in this anemone. Now, the, what you're seeing at the moment is the blackfoot anemone fish. Now, the best way to tell these apart is simply just the white line across its head and the black um, in its lower fins. Now, the other fish, which is your Clark's anemone fish, has a distinct long yellow tail. And the cool thing about these guys is that they are actually the only known anemone fish that is able to inhabit different sea anemones, whereas your normal sea anemone fish, they stay in one or maybe multiple, but not all of them. So that's kind of cool. All right, now on to the parrotfish. So the parrots, so I'm just watching this as you guys are seeing it, as um, these parrotfish are responsible for keeping the reefs clean. Without them, the reefs would be in disarray. You probably wouldn't even actually have a reef. You'd see a bunch of algae. Now, these guys get rid of that algae and also eat a lot of the dead coral, which they then evacuate or get rid of as feces, which is that cloud or like a sandy cloud. Um, so you could be standing on a parrotfish poop when you go out into the water. So just a warning. Now, these guys, uh, they kind of, they create like a mucus, you know, a mucus bubble around them when they're resting at night or like they just want to stop um, sleeping. And that's... So these guys will create a mucus bubble which they encase around themselves whenever they're sleeping at night to protect themselves from predators. This mucus casing also stops them from getting out, but the only way they can really get out is by eating their way out, which is kind of gross, you know, imagine covering yourself in snot and then having to eat your way out. Yeah, not a pretty, not a pretty thought. But one of the major threats to these beautiful creatures, as you're seeing now, you're seeing the ember parrotfish and you're seeing the long-nosed parrotfish. Um, they just look amazing beautiful colours but they are overfished and they do get caught up in gill nets so one way that we can stop this is to just leave them be um, really I mean if you need to fish for them get only what you need like don't commercially fish for them I don't think they do I don't see why they would but these guys are essential for all of the reefs uh, they do keep it clean, they get rid of the algae, they keep it nice and healthy. Without them there is no reef, without the reefs there are no fish, without the fish there is no ocean. So let's keep it clean, let's keep it real out there. I want you guys to remember that when there's no ocean, there's no us. So let's continue on with the video. See ya. Yeah, so we've just done our snorkel. I don't know what the spot was called, but it was just a big circle of reef is all it really was. Uh, we didn't really see much except for a couple clownfish. Huh? Pinnacle. Pinnacle. It was called Pinnacle. Uh, we just saw some clownfish. As you can see, we're back at the moment. Uh, but yeah, we saw some clownfish, um, some wrasse, uh, some parrotfish, that's pretty much it, really. Nothing really too fascinating. Um, as you can see, I'm not actually wearing a shirt at the moment. I'm the whitest man here, living that city life. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. We're having dinner. Uh, actually, we might go to the beach or I might just go back and sleep. I don't know, beach or sleep? We'll soon find out. Catch ya. Right, we'll probably go back, have Hour, freshen up and go to the little store just over there. If I can zoom in, right there, you see it? 
right there. That's the store we're going to. Um, Azim and his friends have organized a barbecue. So we'll be having some fish, uh, rice salad, I think it was. And the, oh, look, a crab. Huh? It's a crab. Oh. Look at it. Ah. It's so cute. Back to me. I'm more fascinating than the crab. All right, so shower. Actually, plan is shower, food. Pretty simple plan, pretty easy plan. Let's hope we can execute it. All right, so it is barbecue time. Barbecue fish, do you know how many fish we're having? Uh, uh like we're three. Having like, I think we're having, like sharing three. Yeah. Three maybe, three each. I think it's like small, three small, medium, large fish. I don't know how much I'll record just because it is starting to rain. Um, but, yeah, I'm hungry. John's hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he is hungry. He's always hungry. You're like a never ending pit. You can't even see me. It's so dark. But yeah, this is where we're eating. Right next to the water. So, see ya. Okay, so we've just had our fish. We've had our dinner as you just saw before. We're finishing off the day. Um, I'm sitting here in a hammock waiting for Azim, John, and his friends, Igu. Um, but I don't know if the camera's focusing right now. Focus! It's probably too dark. Um, but finish the day. Tomorrow's going to be another good day. We've got two dives I believe. We've got to be there at 8.25. Um, yeah. I'll end it off here. Um, you know, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Leave a comment and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to these ones. Thank you and see you next time.